All right, so I've had this question quite a bit. It's a really good question. It's probably the number one question that any person interested in bison or buffalo would ask. What is the difference between bison and buffalo? I'm gonna try to help you and uh, we're gonna talk about it a little bit. Okay, first things first. We need to go way back. We need to go way back and to where the first uh, Europeans came over here. And so the Europeans kind of started taking over uh, the North American continent. Um, what we know is, is the US particularly. And so as they started coming over here and checking everything out, um, they saw this animal. Uh, this big beast, you know, roaming out by the millions. And um, what they knew of this animal, that they were used to seeing, this big, brown, you know, burly beast um, out here grazing, you know, naturally and looking all majestic and stuff. Um, they were used to them and they thought that buffalo. And the, when they said that, um, what they're referring to, or what they thought that our buffalo, these buffalo were, was, was the Cape and water buffalo, which is in the Eastern Hemisphere. And uh, so you're talking, you know, there's, there's places in Africa and there's places in Europe where the Cape and the water buffalo are located. And so they were used to seeing this big beast of an animal. And you know, the Cape buffalo and the water buffalo are both very large mammals. Um, and when you first look at them, uh, this is what you see. And I hate to say it, but if you Google buffalo now, um, and, you know, on Google, and you look at uh, the, some of the images, uh, you'll see Cape Buffalo and you'll see Water Buffalo come up. And uh, that's, that's right, because those are Buffalo. They're not our Buffalo, but um, so when the first peoples were over here and you know, they were seeing this animal, that's where they got it. They started calling them Buffalo, referring to what they were used to in Europe and in Africa. And so what happened is this common name of buffalo started to surface. It started to being passed along and that's what people referred to them as. And as you know, history tells itself, the numbers grew, uh, more people kept coming from Europe. And so uh, that word, just kept going and that common name was referred to as buffalo all right so even the natives um had their own common name for the bison maya get over here sit sit down we don't do that stay all right so the natives even had their common name for for buffalo as well and that was from the english term uh, that was brought over. And so whenever people started calling that, it even spread to the Native Americans. And so let me talk about kind of today and, and what I hear is, you know, when you grow up, the very first thing that you hear is the word buffalo. And it's totally fine. That's what you've heard. That's what you hear in television. Um, that's what you hear in the media. People refer to them um, as buffalo. We always have. Um, but now that the bison or buffalo is starting to kind of get spread more in the U.S. And, and people are starting to know more about them. And the reason that is, is because 
not too long ago, uh, a couple years ago, the bison, the American bison, became our national mammal. And there's a reason behind that. You guys know that the bison um, almost became extinct um, in the late 1800s. And, uh, you know, it was a survivor. And, uh, you know, it, it, it got through the tough times with, uh, you know, a lot of good conservationists um, noticing this. And, and even a, a really good president by the name of Teddy Roosevelt noticing this and trying to put a lot of effort towards saving these majestic animals. And, you know, almost 100 years later, uh, we've, got, we've got them as our national mammals, which is awesome. Talking about, uh, you know, this common name, today it's still used. I go to a lot of uh, bison conferences, uh, you know, meetings, and, and you still hear that name, you know, being spread around. Buffalo. Uh, you see a lot of people's uh, ranches named, you know, Buffalo Ranch, and, and uh, you hear bison. Mine are obviously bison, uh, because when I jumped into this, I just felt like I wanted to go ahead and give it the the true name. So let's break it down a little bit. So you have buffalo, which is a common name. And then you have what the genus species is of American bison is bison bison. That is the genus species of these animals right here. It is a bison bison, um, and which we just call them bison. Uh, that is the American bison. Um, if you go way back, there's a couple of other different species of bison, but um, the real true, um, what we have today is just American bison, which we call bison. Um, so you've got common name uh, that was spread a long time ago, and then you have the actual scientific name. Also, just kind of a common name today is bison. And... Uh, you know what? It's okay. You can call it either one. If you want to get technical, you call them bison. You hear me say bison. But at the end of the day, they're the same animal um, of the American bison. You just can't get it confused, uh, okay, with the water buffalo or the cape buffalo over, you know, in Europe and places like that. So, don't feel bad. It's okay. You're talking about still the coolest dog gum animal okay it doesn't matter it's fine okay but it's bison or buffalo don't be afraid to call it buffalo you're not wrong just don't get it confused with cape or water um buffalo so even in one of my favorite movies which you know i talked about i even named my bull after him um so in dances with wolves you even hear that and that was a very popular movie in the early early 90s um, and you guys know that that movie um, really kind of got me inspired with the whole connection with Native Americans and bison. I just love those kind of movies. Any movie, uh, you know, Kevin Costner in is great. Uh, if you already haven't seen, watch Yellowstone because it's really good. <laughs> but, um, you know, when you hear, um, he's known as Lieutenant Dunbar in that movie. Uh, but, you know, there's the whole famous scene where he's sitting down. I'm talking to that uh, friendly tribe that he's trying to create a bond with and they're sitting down um, drinking coffee. This is one of my favorite scenes. Um, you know, he, he, puts a, he puts a jacket and a shirt and he hum, hunches over and he's, you know, doing the whole Tatanka thing and, you know, we always laugh about it and stuff. But um, and that's a funny scene because he's, he's acting out to try to, you know, portray, hey, buffalo, where are the buffalo? Uh, but you hear them say that, and the, the Sioux guy says, Buffalo, buff. Um, <laughs> funny scene, one of my favorite scenes. But, you know, it's stuff like that where we've heard them before, and, you know, we, you see that in the movies and you see it in the media, and so it's okay. That's been laid out for us as the term Buffalo. If you ask me what I would prefer, and I'm just about this big in the whole bison world, I would say bison. Uh, the name of our magazine cover, uh, the name of our um, National Bison Association, it, it all has the word bison in it. We try to stay technical. Um, but when you go to those associations, you still hear that term being passed around. Don't 
I mean, I am not an expert at this. I am not a really great historian. This is what I've learned as I've grown up. Um, this is what I've learned from teaching Oklahoma history and just, you know, being in this over a year and a half now. So I'm not an expert at the bison versus buffalo, but this is what I've learned and talked to people and picked up in books um, that I've read and just tried to pay attention to. So, um, you know, I'm not perfect at it, but this is what I know to be uh, buffalo versus bison. And I just gave you the pretty short version of that. So I hope that I helped you do, I hope I helped you understand what the difference is um, just compared to our American bison to the Cape and the water buffalo. Um, you know, if you just stick with uh, in the term American bison, if you want to call them bison buffalo, it's okay. So people ask, well, what kind of bison do you have? Well, let me break it down. There's two types of bison in America. Um, there's plains bison, which is this, are these guys. And then there is the wood bison. Let me show you what the difference is between wood bison and plains bison. Okay, so on the woods bison, you've got the hump that comes up a little bit more forward, like you see here on Dakota. <coughs> <coughs> All right, so on wood bison, they live up in the north. Um, you're going to see them in Canada for sure. Uh, but they also will be <clears throat> up into, uh, you know, they can be up into Montana, Wyoming, Idaho, and some of those northern United States. They're a little bit bigger than the plains bison. And uh, their hump comes forward. They... Uh, have a lot more kind of hair up in the front. It's not as froey. It's not as uh, curly up in the front. It's, it's a little shaggier up in the front, kind of a you know long straight hair, I guess you could say. Um, if you talk to some woods bison people, which I know some up in Canada, some good people up there, they can tell you a little bit more about the difference between woods and plain plains bison. Minor plains bison. Um, so the ones that, uh, you know, you saw in the movies and uh, the traditional, you know, uh, the Plains Indians, Native Americans hunting, uh, the, the bison, uh, those are these bison. Uh, you're going to find those woods bison up uh, far north. You're not going to hardly see any down this way, uh, really, but um, not a huge difference. They're still bison. Uh, they're just woods and plains. So. You've got your genus species of bison bison, and then you've got a kind of two subgroups here, or two different groups of, of American bison. All right, guys, I hope I've helped you today. I hope that I've taught you a little bit more about bison, and I hope that you know a little bit, at least uh, <laughs> the difference between buffalo and bison. And um, you know what? At the end of the day, they're the same animal. Just don't get it confused with those other buffalo over in Europe. Um, but uh, it's the same thing. People know what you're talking about. And now, um, if people ask, you can correct them if you want. You can say, no, it's bison. I'm sorry that it's taken me this long. I kind of covered a bunch of other stuff. And, I, you know, it's okay to get back to the basics. Um, just like I have to do in teaching and coaching. Every now and then you got to do that. And so, um, you know, I'm... 12 or 13 videos in, 13 videos in, and we're just now talking about bison versus buffalo. These are interesting animals, and there's so much history about them that you can really get into if you want to read about. Um, but feel free to ask me any questions. Not an expert at this, um, but if you have any questions, you can feel free to ask me. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video today, taking you back kind of into the classroom a little bit. Um, being a teacher, you know, it's, it's kind of natural to do that. So, um, but I hope you learned something today. Um, follow us on Instagram or Facebook, Cross Timbers Bison. And uh, if you already haven't subscribed to YouTube, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys very much.
All right, starting over. <laughs> okay, I got some good news for you. So I've been telling you, I've been leaving you out to dry. Um, we've got some t-shirts. They are printed and ready to go. So I'm gonna give you the directions on how you can get one of these. It's exactly like this. It's, um, it's what my family wears um, and I wear all the time. So how you can do this is you, I'll put the link down at the bottom here and um, you can go to my website. It's www.crosstimbersbison.com and you'll be able to order um, your t-shirt if you'd like to on there. Um, just email me if you have any problems or anything and uh, we'll have them on there for you. All the information's on there. You can check out our website while you're on there. Uh, we've got links to Facebook and Instagram and my YouTube on there as well. So you guys go ahead and get on there and look if you'd like to. If you'd like to get a t-shirt, um, they're super soft shirts. I love these um, shirts. They're Bella Canvas. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's okay. Uh, just trust me. These are really soft shirts. I love wearing them. And um, yeah, so there you go. If you guys want it, uh, go ahead and you can check out the website and you'll be able to order from there. Thank you guys.